Alright people, welcome back to another episode of Card Review. So yes, Card Review is now on Mondays and Wednesdays instead of Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you still get two card reviews per week. You know, it's probably the easiest out of all the uh, secondary seasons I get a series. Uh, I guess, you know, Fake Card Fridays is exactly in the same boat, but hey, you know, so, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you literally get me just sitting down talking about cards. Hey, you know, that's what you guys want. That's what you guys like. So, today, we are looking at the new Horn card. Yes, they made a new Horn card. Horn of Heaven. Black Horn of Heaven. This is Great Horn of Heaven. So, what's so great about it? Well, let's find out. So, Great Horn of Heaven is, of course, a countertop card that reads, When your opponent would special summon a monster, monsters, during their main phase, negate the special summons. Special summons, special summon. And if you do, destroy that monster, monsters. Then your opponent draws one card, and if they do end the main phase so uh really what's the difference between this card and black one well uh black one heaven essentially stops all inherent summons just like this card of course they both stop inherent summons counter trap card very powerful except uh this card kind of tries to change it up because they don't want it to be too similar to black horn by your opponent gets to draw a card but it ends their main phase so you're probably wondering like well i would rather play black horn and you know personally i'd rather play black horn too uh, this card, it, you know, it breaks rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw. You know, you got some really good cards, and I'd probably put this in the same boat, just like with Dark Bribe, where, you know, Dark Bribe, you negate any spell or trap card, but then your opponent gets to draw a card. This card, stop any inherent summon, but then your opponent gets to draw a card, you know. So, it breaks rule number one and number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw, and never let your opponent draw, you know. But... In exchange, it automatically ends their main phase. It ends their main phase. Because, of course, the thing with Blackhorn, just like this, your opponent would summon a whole bunch of Inherent Summon. You Blackhorn them. They can still do plays. You know, it's still their main phase. They can still do plays. This card on the other hand. They draw a card, but it immediately snaps out of their main phase, goes to battle phase, and unless they have any other monster in the field, they're not attacking it. Then, uh, of course, they can, the thing is, they can still um, <clears throat> do things in their main phase, too. That's my problem. I feel like... They could have done a lot better with this card to have more of an incentive to play it. I think that it should be like, stop your opponent's Terran Summons, they draw a card, and then it ends their turn. That way they don't even get to do anything in their main phase. Like, they get to draw a card, but it ends their turn. You know? I think that would have been a little bit better. And I'd say maybe it would have been a little bit OP, but I personally think that would have been a little bit better instead of just ends their main phase, because then it goes to battle phase, and then main phase 2, they can do everything they want. So it pretty much is just saving you from um, additional battle damage. Is it worth the draw card? In my opinion, no. Life points are expendable. Resources are forever. So uh, I'd rather not. So I'd still rather play Blackhorn. Now, uh, I think Blackhorn is a really, really OP card that goes up and down with popularity, depending on what decks are good and what decks are... Uh, not as good, and you know I'm I may sound a little bit salty, but I personally I think that black horn should probably be limited just because how powerful it is. It's literally a no cost counter trap card that stops all inherent summons. It literally means that you synchro summon black horn, you freaking XC summon black horn, you pendulum summon all the monsters that you pendulum summon black horn and go to the graveyard. Like that's OP, you know. So personally, I think that black horn should be limited, and if black horn gets limited, then that might you know, give this card more of an incentive to be played. Because, you know, I personally think that this is more of a balanced version, because, you know, at least your opponent gets to draw a card. It's just like Dark Bribe, you know? At least your opponent gets to draw a card. But, uh... I just think Blackhorn either... I think Blackhorn is gonna have to get hit. I think... And like I said, it goes up and down with popularity. Is Blackhorn good right now? No, it's not good right now, because what are the top decks? Necros. Blackhorn, you can't Blackhorn Necros. Uh, you know, the original summons aren't here. Uh... Uh, Burning Abyss, I mean, I guess you can Black Horn of Dante, but it's still going to get its effect, so. Uh, Cleese, yes, you can Black Horn the shit out of Cleese, and they will cry. Like, you thought Solemn Warning and freaking Cleese hurts? Same thing, you know. Pendulum Summon, my, all three of my Cleese monsters, Black Horn of Heaven, they all go to the graveyard. Like, ouch, ouch, you know. So Cleese, that's good. Uh, Shadals, no, they're, they're Fusion Summons, that's not inherent. Uh, Teller Knights, yes. Teller Knights, yes. So, if Cleese and Tellers became, you know, oh, and also, uh, Ritual Beast, too, I forgot about Ritual Beast, yes, Blackhorn, Ritual Beast, because them contacts, those are inherent, so, if you literally go, you know, contact into, uh, Searchy Birdie, and, of course, Searchy Birdie, the problem with them is that they can you know, go ahead and split apart, and it can chain to itself, so, it's not even like you can really affect the other Phoenix Chain, because it's just gonna chain, and then, you know, start, get a search off, but, they go, summon Searchy Birdie, Blackhorn, they can't chain to that, it's a counter trap, so, you know, out of the six decks that are good, 
three of them you can black one. So if literally if Burning Abyss, Necros, and Shadals literally fell off the face of the earth and weren't good anymore, and the top decks were Ritual Beast, Cleese, and Teller Knight, you yeah, are damn sure that black one would be great. Because... Look at it. It's fucking busted. The monster didn't even hit the field. You know, you go ahead and go into that tray of Blackhorn. You don't get your graveyard artifact. You were never summoned. You know, you can't. If Triv is the only monster on your field and I go Blackhorn, you can't even go activate fucking uh, Nova because you don't control a Telenar monster. This is before the monster hits the field. So you can't even tribute because it says, you know, uh, what? You know, it says tribute to Telenite monster on the field. You're not on the field yet, so you can't even freaking chain Nova unless you have another Telenite monster on the field. You can't even chain Nova to to negate my Blackhorn. Like fucking OP that is. Blackhorn is just like wow. So um, you know, if Blackhorn ever gets you know popular, and I thought it was gonna get hit in past just because how popular it was in the past, but it never did. Uh, you know, Blackhorn gets head down to one, then maybe this card can see a little bit more play and more incentive to play. But for right now, Blackhorn over this definitely. Black over great. So yeah. Anyway. That's all I gotta say about this card. So tell me what you guys think about Great Horn of Heaven in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoy this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a live video. You know, I will see you guys tomorrow with webcam duels. And of course, I'll see you guys on Friday with Fake Card Friday, taking the weekends off, of course. And come back Monday with another card to look at for Card Review. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Monday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank you.